All right, what is up? This is DSP, and uh, this is another edition of DSP Tries It, but a lot different from the other ones that I've done up to now, uh, simply because this is the first episode where I'm not going to be looking at or reviewing food. Um, and this comes from a fan request. In my last uh, DSP Inbox video, a fan said, Phil, what are you doing? You had mentioned that you bought a lot of your own merchandise from Cafe Press, so you could look at it and, and review it for the viewers to see if we're interested, and then you never did it. And I said, you know what? He's absolutely right. I'm stupid. I completely forgot. So here we go. What we're going to do today, we're going to look at the drinking receptacles that I have purchased from Cafe Press. Uh, my page is at cafepress.com slash darksidefill, and we have three different ones right here. The first two are SIG water bottles, which are Swiss-made metallic water bottles. The third is the ceramic uh, beer stein. And just so everyone knows, you don't only have to get these in these versions. All of these logos are basically interchangeable, meaning you can get any one of these on any one of these. Like, you can get the Hateful Truth on this. You can get Hate on this. You can get this logo on this. Check out the website. They'll show you all the different options. Um, the water bottles in particular, I, I, I do like, and here's why. I, I didn't realize this, but they're actually metal. They're, they're hard metal. Um, I can't, look... Ugh, I'm squeezing as hard as I can. It's rock hard, extremely durable. You've got the loop at the top if you're you know, a bike rider or you exercise and you want to hook it up to something. But just to show you exactly what these entail, I've been taking this bottle over to Howard's house with water whenever I go over there to play Super Turbo, and it's hilarious because they all laugh at me. Ha-ha, filling everyone with a water bottle with your face on it. But you have the screw on top, and the inside is metallic. Um... And basically, you don't need to clean this very much if you're going to put water or whatever in it. If it's all I put in it, water, and then I rinse it out every once in a while. Um, easy to clean. Um, Price-wise, this is the thing, and I'm going to be honest with everyone, the stuff on Cafe Press is a little bit pricey. Um, I do make a cut from anything that you purchase from Cafe Press, but it's not a big one. It's a very small one. In fact, I've tried to minimize the amount of money that I make to keep the prices down. So in this case, on this particular water bottle, the small water bottle, which is 0.6 liters, is $25. This larger water bottle, which is 1 liter, so it's almost double the capacity of the small water bottle, is only $27.99. So for like $4 more, I'm sorry, $3 more, you're getting more than double the size. So it depends on, I guess, how big of a water bottle you really need. I wouldn't want to bring the, something this big over, Howard. It's probably too much. Now this is the beer stein, and this... You've probably seen in many, many of my videos. I, I I use this to drink out of all day, pretty much. Um, it's really cool. It's durable. It's ceramic. It's heavy. It's heavy duty. Easy to clean. Um, one thing that I do want to mention, though, they did say that the water bottles. If you do get those water bottles, do not put them in your dishwasher. They said that they do. They're, they're afraid that basically either this will get chipped off the logo, or the logo might come off with extreme heat, which a lot of the dishwashers put these dishes under. However, I have washed the ceramic mug in my dishwasher with zero problems. So this is dishwasher safe. This one I would say just keep to rinsing out in your sink. Um, the Stein is only $15.99. So a lot of, that's actually a bestseller right now. A lot of people have been buying the Stein because they see me using it in a lot of videos. They think it's pretty cool. Keep in mind, like I said, you can get all different kinds of designs on these it's not just these logos uh so go check out the website and you'll see some variations some other logos and things are available and as other logos and things are designed they'll also become available i'll always be you know updating the site as long as people are interested in this so <clears throat> honestly what do i think about these products well let me give it to you this way the stein i love 16 dollars. i've used the drink out of all day it's a a lot of room in there you know so it's, it's a it's not like a cup of water it's like two to three glasses of water that you could fit in there um the, uh, if i was giving this out of a five rating i'd give the stein like a 4.5 seriously because value for the dollar it's extremely useful the water bottles now as a lot of people know i have a back injury i don't go working out or anything like that i don't go jogging or but if i were, rode a bike these bottles would probably be really useful especially because they have that uh, the top, the screw on top that has the ability to put like a bungee cord or a hook or something on there uh, or to take to the gym. Now, obviously, I don't expect anyone to be bringing something that has a big middle finger to the gym or says hate or anything like that. But like I said, there are other logos that you can get um, for these. Uh, I do it openly admit 
these water bottles are pricey, okay? For a water bottle, paying $25 to $28 is pricey. But I do want to emphasize to everyone, they're rock hard metal. Like I said, they're, they're not going to get damaged. If you drop this, it doesn't break. It's pretty much almost indestructible unless you really, you know, run a car over the damn thing or smash it with a hammer. Um, they are solid metal. Uh, and pretty much they're going to last you for a very, very long time until you end up scratching the design off of it. It's pretty much what I would think would be the time that these things would fall apart. It's not that, you know, SIG is a well-known brand, especially for this kind of thing. Um, I would only think that, like I said, the only reason that you would need to get a new water bottle if you buy one of these is if you actually scratch the design off because you put it in a dishwasher or, you know, you, it drops on the ground and or hits a rock or something. So... Um, uh, overall, uh, usage-wise, these are really useful. And like I said, I bring this water bottle to Howard's house all the time. But price-wise, I probably have to give this like a 3 uh, overall as a rating. I wish it were a little cheaper. If this were under $20, these bottles, these would be like a 5. But Because they are the best water bottles I've pretty much ever seen. They're not plastic. They're not heavy at all. They're, that's the other thing. A lot of people say, oh, it's metal. It's heavy, right? No, it's super light. These things are like, I feel like I'm lifting a piece of paper. That's how light these are. So they really design them well. They're super thin, super light, but super durable. Um, I just don't like the pricing right now. Uh, but uh, again, I apologize. There's not much I could do about that. Cafe Press, this stuff is a little bit expensive. But uh, at the same time, the product so far, from what I've gotten there, is pretty good. And you'll see that in a couple other videos that I'm going to make. I'm going to talk about some other things I purchased there as well. So uh, that's it. The mug gets a 4.5 because it's so amazing. And the bottles get a 3.